Why do marathon runners poop their pants? Few exercises can compare to the marathon in terms of demonstrating the athletic potential of the human body. To overcome the physical and psychological difficulties of endurance, runners pound the pavement for 26.2 miles while moving with the grace and quickness of a gazelle. Their motions can almost seem balletic up until they defecate in their shorts. Many athletes refer to it as a runner's trots. Some people call it the gingerbread man. In the midst of a race, it's the sudden, intense urge to poop. These fecal footnotes are all over the marathon canon. In front of 20 million viewers watching ABC's Wide World of Sports, Julie Moss defiled herself during the 1982 World Ironman Championship in Hawaii. Paula Radcliffe, a competitor and ultimately winner, in the 2005 London Marathon, was made to frequently stop and let the contents of her bowels empty in front of the crowd and television cameras. Undoubtedly, the gingerbread man's wrath has been felt by countless runners during training or regional competition. The issue is so widespread that two spectators at the New York City Marathon displayed homemade signs in 2017. One of them read, don't poop your pants, and a child was holding up the other, which stated, nobody poop. Although there have been reports of in-game mud butt among athletes in other sports, most believe it to be an illness or case of food poisoning. Continuous physical effort is often to blame in marathon running. According to Michael Dobson, a colon and rectal surgeon, during physical stress, the body diverts blood away from organs that may not be urgent at the time. In order to increase blood flow to the muscles, endurance athletes divert blood away from the intestines. The digestive system's regular operation can be seriously disrupted by a lack of blood flow. The gut system is irritated, to put it simply. That might cause bowel movements to be evacuated. Less blood reaches a runner's intestines while their leg muscles are working excessively. This results in an inflammatory reaction in the gut lining, which can produce ischemic colitis or brief inflammation. At that point, problems begin to develop. The body still secretes liters of fluid into the intestinal tract each day, even without a substantial meal, according to Dobson. That material is causing that stuff to flow through the pipes when there are stressors in play. Intestinal problems can affect someone without them necessarily going potty. Losing control of both their interior and outer sphincter muscles at the end of the anal canal is what gives runners a poop they can't ignore. The uncontrollable muscle that generally prevents excrement from leaking into one's pants relaxes when there is enough waste present. The runner cannot contrast the outer voluntary muscle, which is the last line of defense. It's incredibly difficult for someone to deliberately hold the muscle locked while engaging in other actions. With other muscles in the legs and pelvis while they are engaged in a rigorous physical activity, when employing muscle, you cannot control the muscle. At that point, you start to question your most recent meal. But according to Dobson, there isn't much you can do aside from restricting your intake of solid food before a race or avoiding Taco Bell.